Hey guys and welcome back to Frog Detective. We are up to case number three, our final case, Corruption at Cowboy County. I am so excited to play. Let's see what we get up to in this one. Oh, the little tumbleweed. Froggy, where are you? Oh, Mary, I do remember her. Hello. <laughs> I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. After the detective, that's you, solved the case of the invisible wizard, a mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. But the contents of the phone call were mysterious, you know? Okay, so let's set the scene. I'm a good actress. It'll be exactly like what happened. You know what? No, I'm not going to doubt her. Go on, Mary, go for it. <laughs> oh, are we actually... Are we Mary? <laughs> oh, they still have my sticker book. <laughs> oh my gosh, hey, it's me, the detective frog. Hey, gorgeous. <laughs> I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially. Oh my gosh, I know. It's so hard to describe our professional relationship, but you're like a helper of sorts. Yes, exactly. Like a manager almost. Maybe like a supervisor? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? Yes, <laughs> it's my job to solve mysteries. <laughs> Obviously, I was being dramatic. Classic supervisor. Okay, so what's the case about, babe? <laughs> I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Aw, boo. I know, bummer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? <laughs> what? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. <laughs> There's a ticket for you there, and it'll take you on a little trip. Cute, okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, love. Later. <laughs> oh, Mary. Oh, she was really good. There we go. <laughs> Sick. Now I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective. Got your magnifying glass. <laughs> well, there we go. And we can head out of here. So where's Mary? There she is. <laughs> Yeah, this is actually Mary's hand too, not the frog's. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so the detective heads to the train station and it's all so cool. Like there's a new color scheme and stuff. But can you believe it? Someone literally takes the detective's notebook. It's so messed up. Actual tears in my eyes. Seriously, I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. So, you're actually up to date now. Please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the case. Thanks, Mary. Good one. Oh, there is a new color scheme and everything. It's very orange. Look at that worm. Ah, oh, here we are, looking so cool in our favorite jumper. Beautiful. Oh, oh, see you later, little worm. Can I go? Can I go down the tunnel? Oh, Ooh. hey. <laughs> I can't just leave that phone ringing. I'm way too nosy. <laughs> yes, well, I was um, getting distracted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Frog Detective. Cool scooter. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency speaking. How may I help you? Why did you answer the phone like that? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why did you assume it's ringing for you? I'm the only one here. You don't think it's a little weird? Not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. Because I knew you'd be there. Now who's the weird one? 
Regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about this mystery. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I cannot. Someone may be listening. What? Who? I saw on the internet that it's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. Okay. Well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you. Hmm? As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is vast and rough. I've ordered something special from Whizbay to help you get around. It's that scooter, isn't it? Oh, is it a horse? <laughs> what? No. Why would you say that? Mm, it's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of society. It would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you would even say that. Right. <laughs> Sorry. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. What did you order then? A scooter, of course. Sick. It should be near the phone booth. Bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. Please stop questioning my choices. Anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster Cop arrived early and will be waiting for you at the town. Of course he arrived early. He's the best. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. I hope you have fun too. I will. <laughs> All right. See ya. Oh no, so we have, oh, we have a scooter. Yeah, it does actually look really big out here. So it's probably good that we have a mode of quick transportation. My very own scooter, sick. Got a scooter. <laughs> oh no, a frog on a scooter. Um, are we hop on with left shift? Okay. What? Oh, we can do jumps and everything? Whoa. Okay, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, I like that. No, I want to keep riding for a long time. Oh, we are so cool on this scooter. Look at us go. <laughs> oh, he looks so proud. Just a big smile on his froggy face. <laughs> there we go down the hill yep this is absolutely needed so who have we got we've got lobster cop of course Susie rabbit Sherman and the bandits us the frog detective Plus a special guest, it's that guy that we keep finding. Who is that? That's actually not many people in this game, not many characters. Look, okay, it's only a small town. Corruption at Cowboy County. All right, let's solve this case. I am so ready. Oh, look at this. Can I go back? No. <laughs> I'm gonna do a sweet jump. Maybe not. Oh, lobster cop. Let's get off our scooter. Here we go. <laughs> hey, lobster cop. I'm here to help solve the mystery. Right on time, detective. I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? Nope. <laughs> can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cop? I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the Sheriffless County. Maybe the Sheriff's gone missing. Ooh. This town was thriving, Detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. A Sheriff? <laughs> Yeah, I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. <laughs> I've lost where I was going with this. You said there was something missing. Right. 
there was something missing. <laughs> a sheriff. The town had realized that for all these years, they were missing a vital ingredient for cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor and he contacted me. And me. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm going to be honest, Lobster Cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here to facilitate the hiring for a management position? Detective, you read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. Did you really think I'd need your help? No, me neither. And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. Hmm? The position has been filled. Oh, I knew the perfect boy for the job. Presenting. Oh no, it's that, it's gonna be that weird little creature. The new sheriff of Cowboy County. Yep, <laughs> Sheriff Mason Mole, he's a mole. Wow, congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No, no, hmm? no, you cannot. Is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mall? Mystery. <laughs> Crime mystery. Please solve this. What's the mystery? All hats have been stolen. All hats? But the sheriff has a hat on. You're wearing a hat. <laughs> Not my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? All the hats in the town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. <laughs> Get to work, please. All right. Well, you heard the sheriff. <laughs> okay. Um, is there really no additional information? No. But here is your notebook. Oh. Wait, was the sheriff the one that took our notebook? I'm sorry? Here, notebook. Somebody mailed it to you. Oh, that's weird. I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. You know what? When Mary mentioned the stolen notebook, she showed um, a little hand and it looks like the mole's hand. Hmm, can I ask a question? No, I'm busy. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm now suspicious of the sheriff. Ha, <laughs> what a legend. You know each other? Sure, but how much can you really know someone, right? What? Don't worry about it. Now, detective, as I am the lead investigator on this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So, I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm. I'll handle the motive and the suspects. You handle the crime scene and method. Okay, it's an easier task for a rookie like you? All you'll need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that could lead us to a clue, and lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. But that's us. A uh, meal? Yes, detective. Keep up. I'm a very hungry boy and will need sustenance to solve the mystery. I have some sandwiches I was saving for afternoon tea if you'd like them. No, I need a proper meal. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. If you need to be reminded of what I want, come and see me by the graveyard. Will do. Good luck, lobster cop. I don't need it. Good luck, detective. <laughs> right. He has a very um, confident attitude, doesn't he? Our little notebook with all the pictures on it. Case number three, the mystery of the missing hats. Lobster cop. <laughs> nice picture. There is no possible motive for Lobster Cop to do this. He needs crime scene map, a criminal tool, key, and a meal. Hey, it's Lobster Cop, number one best detective. I'm very jealous. 
so tall. <laughs> oh, oh, you can mark him suspicious. No, I don't think I will. Okay, so that's everything for now. Um, whoa. Look at that snake. Oh, that's so cute. He's really cool. I like him. Yes, I am extremely aware that I am just looking around the back. This is what I do. I don't play things properly. I like to look where I'm not supposed to. So maybe I will stop that right now and go and see the first person I see, which is Susie Rabbit. Hello. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. Can you do me a favor? Um, it depends on the favor. What? I can't just agree to doing you a favor. I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? <laughs> I... You're the best. Thanks. I need you to help me break into this bank. I'm a detective. I will not. <laughs> huh? Dude, you already agreed to do it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. If you said you'd do me a favor, you should keep your word. I didn't agree to the favor. Oh, so now you're changing the story. Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. Oh, okay. Well, we've made an enemy with Susie. <laughs> I do love her cute little outfit, though. Oh, Susie. But why are you trying to break into the bank? Excuse me, Susie Rabbit. Hello? Ah, oh, she won't talk to us. What? It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the flake. Why? Because you always flake on your promises. I'm gonna have to break in on my own now. Well, she's happy again. I'm very concerned about her mental state. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Why are you breaking in anyway? Bit nosy for someone who doesn't want to help. Being nosy is my job. Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can't get into my vault. Oh, so you only want to steal things that belong to you. Yeah. Surely there's another way of getting them? Oh, so now you want to help. Typical. I just mean, breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. I heard all these banks are booby-trapped. Why? So people don't break in. What? What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. Huh, I'm starting to get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. I have a piece of evidence that is vital to the missing hats case. Wait, what? I could really use that. Ah, so you'll help me. Hmm, I really shouldn't. <laughs> what kind of evidence? It's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found it this morning, right after the hats were stolen. It had big letters on top that said crime map. Eat after reading. I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good to hear. Maybe there's another way to get into your vault. Mind if I ask you some questions? Oh, here we go. The vault. So let's brainstorm ideas to get into the vault. Oh, sure. What about we kick the bank teller? What? Absolutely not. I'm joking, obviously. Were you? No, I was not. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. I'm going to be honest with you, detective. What is it? I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. <laughs> oh, that's a conundrum. Yeah, but there's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Is that against the rules? What rules? The bank rules. <laughs> it's my vault. What are they going to do? Ban me from my own possessions? I suppose not. Great, so it's settled. You'll get me a fake ID. What? No. Suit yourself. <laughs> Are 
they don't have a choice. Theoretically, if I were to help, yes. Thank you, detective. I'll wait right here. Okay, mind if I ask you some more questions? What about the map? About that vital piece of evidence, the map. What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? It was a map of the graveyard, I think. Oh, we might have to dig something up. Oh, that's helpful. Uh, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. You'd be looking forever without some guide to tell you where to go. Well, that's the map. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? That's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about the map? Nah, not really. Listen, if you can help me get into my vault, it's all yours. That sound like a good deal? I'll do my best. Uh, okay, so there's nothing more to ask Susie, but we need to get her a fake ID. Great. Susie. Motive. Maybe she misplaced the hats in the vault. I don't know. Needs a fake ID. Yikes. Short stature, shorter temper, ethical criminal, not a big believer in rules. I like her though. She's technically not doing anything too wrong. I mean, it's her vault after all, isn't it? It's her vault. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go. I really don't. Oh, hello. You weren't in the intro. You mustn't be very important. Look at those beautiful worms. <laughs> The worm tellers. So this is the post office. Hi, what's your name? It's Craig. If you're here from the Evil Secret Society, please leave me alone. I am not interested in joining. What's the Evil Secret Society? Nice try. I know the society's tricks. Uh, well, I'm actually here from the Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh yeah, where are your credentials? Uh, well, I'm a detective and a frog, and I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? <laughs> Just my face. We might have to get our own fake ID as well. Do you have identification? <laughs> no, but I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance does seem to match what you're saying. But just know, I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. <laughs> Detective, I'm someone that is regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here and they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you've got the naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. The posties are another one. They go around delivering mail. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. Then why can't we open everybody's mail? Not so public if you ask me. Open your eyes. <laughs> Another society is the Ghost Spotters League. Oh wait, I think I've heard of them. Yes, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being a part of any societies, but that's only half true. Oh? The Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive, and I'm kind of bummed they've never tried to recruit me. Are you a keen ghost spotter? Well, that might be the problem. To be inducted into the League, you need to have spotted a ghost. And you haven't seen any. Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. <laughs> it's a compelling disguise, I'll give you that. Do you know much about ghosts? Yes. Well, actually, no, because our haunted cave wasn't haunted at all. Well, I solved a mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Although, <laughs> it wasn't haunted in the end. So, no. You could have saved us both time and just said no. Sorry. No, I don't know much about ghosts. <laughs> okay, let's ask him some questions. Everybody always wants information from me. <laughs> The Ghost Spotters League. Maybe there's some hanging around in the graveyard. How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of a question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective. You can't just spot them out and about. How does it work then? 
Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost sighting story or tangible proof of the ghost, like a photo. Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. The saloon has a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send in the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are of ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Hmm, sounds like a bit of a puzzle. They're so strict, if I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. <laughs> what did you send in the first two times? <sighs> I faked the first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast so I looked like a blur in the photograph. They're so clever that they figured me out right away. That's how I know they're the real deal. I like your creativity though. Thanks. Say, if you happen to stop by the saloon, could you take a look and see if you can tell which of the photos has a ghost in it? I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself. I just want to be part of the society. I suppose that's fair enough. Sure, if I have time, I'll take a look. We might have to use our magnifying glass. Thanks. Tell me more about secret societies. I don't suppose there's a secret society that is dedicated to stealing hats. Uh, not that I'm aware of. But that's the thing, detective. These societies run deep. I've barely scratched the surface of what there is to know. They run everything. Everywhere you've ever been. Anything you've ever done. It's all dictated by the secret societies. Surely that can't be true. You'd think not, but it's true. How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Is it a secret forum? What? <laughs> like, uh, is the forum also a secret society? I never thought of that. I'll have to look into it. No, I'm just joking. I don't see how you can joke about something like this. Secret societies run everything. Craig, I just don't think that's true. Oh yeah? What evidence do you have that it's not true? Well, none, I suppose. Just a lack of evidence of it being true. I would say it's more like a lack of evidence of it not being true. <laughs> agree to disagree? I'll agree to be right, and you agree to be wrong. Okay, sure. <laughs> he really wants to be part of a secret society to feel important. Motive. Wanted membership to the secret hat stealing society? That's not even a thing. Needs proof of a ghost? Either a conspiracy theorist or knows way more about the world than me. Does not buy my detective disguise, drat. Just wants to be part of something. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. Okay, they're so cute. I love those little worms. So they he mentioned the saloon. I'm guessing one of these buildings is the saloon hello little spider oh i can see a road up there we probably have to go up there later on our scooter okay so there's nothing in there but i'm wondering if that opens up later on we can go and see mason mole the sheriff here he is oh what's that gloves gloves to hide his hands oh He's done up a little map connecting people, I think. Hmm. Ooh, these could come in handy. Haha, <laughs> get it? Handy. Gloves, right. Excuse me. Yes, Sheriff? <laughs> Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Crime. Oh, I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. Oh, they will be evidence once we use them, I'm guessing. Cool. Got some gloves. Okay, I'm not sure why we need the gloves, but we have them now. I'm pretty sure this guy's got something to do with it, doesn't he? I'm very suspicious. He's the only one that has a hat. Maybe he wanted to be the important one, the only one with a hat. Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mall. Hello. 
How's your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. <laughs> you know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Hmm, strange. You must have a familiar face. No. <laughs> You're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So, how did you meet Lobster Cop? School. You've known each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you to suggest you as the new sheriff. Yes. That's nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you. Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became sheriff. Did you have a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. Helped? I helped out. Helped out who? With what? Not important. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> there I go again, being nosy. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, okay, see ya. No questions? No questions? He's very sus. Motive. Wanted to be the only person in town with a hat. To be left alone. Yep, yeah, this, is, this is the guy. A fellow a few words. Previous job helped out. I'm going to put a suspicious tab on him but it may also just be a trick can we talk to him any further ah, apparently not <laughs> I feel so nosy talking to him <laughs> right uh, yeah you know what the hats are behind that curtain aren't they this guy is sus very, very sus. Yeah, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Might be a red herring. Whoa. Look at all these beautiful pictures. Oh, that's lovely. Must be their family. Oh. Well, hello. Wendy. Good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't stock any gear for detective work. I don't need anything. Oh, um, uh, please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you'll find what you need. No, thank you. <laughs> we have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need a specific item that isn't in stock? We process special orders at no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need anything. Special orders have an average two day turnaround. That's a great turnaround. It's one of our many great policies, such as, we are proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What's a satisfaction guarantee? We can guarantee that you'll be either satisfied dissatisfied with your purchase what happens if I'm dissatisfied that falls within our satisfaction guarantee <laughs> so I can get a refund the satisfaction guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied if your feeling towards a product doesn't fall within that range you are entitled to a refund that clears it up thanks Jeez. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we don't have cases in stock at this time. The mystery, I mean, of the stolen hats. Stealing is not permitted at Cowboy County General Store. Is this person a robot? It's not permitted anywhere, really. To be clear, I am not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I am here on official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Right, it would have been a lot easier for me if you'd said that in the first place. I feel like I just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. A bit embarrassing for me, really. Like, maybe in future just tell people what you're here for? Yes, 
absolutely right. I am not good at communicating quickly. I get easily swept up in conversation. Sorry. It's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. Oh, no, no. You did great. I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. It hasn't been easy taking over the shop. You seem like an old hand at it. <laughs> That's great. I'm <laughs> not at all. I've only been running the shop for seven months. Oh, cool. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions? <laughs> New job. I'm feeling that maybe her family moved away. So you just started running the shop. How's it all going? I wish I could say I'm nailing it, but it honestly doesn't feel like that most of the time. That's no good. The shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been, but it's just kind of the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there is one thing. What is it? Do you see those portraits on the wall? They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them, except for me. Mine is just a silly photo. It's a nice photo. Yeah, sure, but it's not the same. I haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? And besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. <laughs> I wish. I'm not much of a painter. Well, if you find anyone that wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Hmm. Here, take this photo of me. <laughs> okay, kind of weird. What's weird? Just carrying around a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter who can paint you a portrait. I don't think that's weird. Okay, sorry. Got a photo. I wonder if that will work towards our fake ID. And that's it at the moment for Wendy. I don't think we've met anyone who can paint, but we have a picture of her. Wendy. Motive. Steal the town hats and sell them back to the town, the perfect crime, no. She needs her portrait painted. Seven months in the biz, rehearsed and formal, yet professional and warm. I'm now carrying around a photo of her, and nobody thinks that's weird. Especially not me. <laughs> okay, look, there is no way of telling who painted those portraits. I thought there may have been like a little signature on the bottom or something. All right, so that is Wendy's general store. We have a little stage here, which is kind of cool. Wait, I see something interesting. Look what I see in here. It's someone that is doing some painting. Oh boy, that's got to be the saloon. Hey, what are you doing up there being suspicious? Before I go into the saloon, because I think it's going to be big, like that is a big area to investigate. We're going to go see that little mouse. So this is a map. Oh, great. I can use this to orient myself if I get lost in this needlessly large town. <laughs> Got a town map. Wonderful. Mystery of the missing hats, Cowboy County. Yep, that's us. Okay, so this must be the scooter store. We have the graveyard, a mine over there, and I did notice a little well. I'm gonna get on my scooter. Oh, it's going to be down here. This is where the well is. Yep. Oh. can't get down there without a ladder I'd fall and break my legs and arms and knees and head and nostrils and fingers <laughs> okay so we are going to need a ladder 
Oh, I love the music when we're riding on us little scooter all right so we need to keep an eye out for a ladder 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 wait that's a ladder oh you know what I probably need to get her portrait painted and then she may give me the ladder in return all right <laughs> we'll get there Let's talk to this little mouse who looks like a thief and is obviously part of that gang, I believe. Selling scooters or hiring scooters. But what's with the mask? Rhonda Dynamite. They come from far and wide to face off with the powerful Rhonda Dynamite. Rhonda Dynamite? That's me. Ready your weapon, frog. It is time for us to do battle. I do not have a weapon and I'm not super interested in doing battle. Then why are you here to face me? This is my land, frog. You cannot just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? You own this scooter barn? No, but I loiter here every day. Everybody knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock, frog? I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. I live at 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Pond. <laughs> Did you just give me your full address? Yes. You literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Why not? How else are you going to know where I live? <laughs> you have a great point. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the detective does not have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers. <laughs> Unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich. Then tell people where you live because how else are they going to know you live in a mansion? <laughs> okay, even then, just show them a photo. Don't give them your address. Thanks for playing. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. Would you like me to leave? Nah, I'm enjoying having some company. <laughs> So, what do you do? Hmm? What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat him up. What? No. Give him a taste of these fists. Kick him in the nose. <laughs> Tie their shoes together and trip him up. Tell him they're ugly. Please, no. I'm an outlaw detective. I hate it when people do the wrong thing. Mmm, that's the opposite of an outlaw. Hmm, you're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. You think so? To be honest with you, detective, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Oh, it was filled just before I got here. Yeah, I know, by some rando. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure Lobster Cup wouldn't have given the job to just anyone. He must be very qualified. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. I suppose not. What makes you want to be the sheriff? I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with class and style and I love to help others. Got a problem that needs solving? I'm your girl. And I'm tough. No one is going to mess with me. Wow, you sound like a great fit for the job. I think so too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You could always talk to Mason Mole, show him your expertise. Maybe you could be co-sheriffs. That's a great idea. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? All right, so being the sheriff, how do you intend to become the sheriff? <laughs> By force? <laughs> yes, well, there already is a sheriff. I will simply beat up Mason Mole. <laughs> What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm Rhonda Dynamite. The rules don't apply to me. What did Mason Mole ever do to you? I don't know, but he's shifty. Just don't trust his face. Oh, please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say? Like a list of my skills and experience? Yeah, I think that would be a better option than beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. Less fun, though. Hmm. 
I don't really have the writing supplies for making a resume. If I had paper and stuff, I could probably manage it. I can get you the writing supplies. Just please don't beat up the sheriff. Fine, fine. I was just thinking about it. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm gonna make a prediction. At the end of this game, Rhonda Dynamite becomes the sheriff and Mason Mole is outed as being the one that has stolen all the hats. What kind of work do you do? Well, detective, I'd love to tell you, but I need to know I can trust you. Oh, I understand. If you're worried about me telling on you, I won't tell. My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hats. If you've stolen the hats, I will totally tell on you though. That's reasonable. Well, okay then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Wow, sounds intense. It's mostly a lot of printing stuff out. I can forge all types of things. Important documents, birth certificates, IDs, you name it. Could you forge a certificate that says number one best detective? Why? No reason. I'm just joking. Pretend I didn't say that. Okay, so I cannot ask her for a fake ID just now. But that is who we need to go to to get the fake ID. So Rhonda Dynamite, her motive. I honestly don't think she would need a motive to steal the hats. Just a hunch though. Needs to write a resume and learn some non-violent conflict resolution skills. Wants to fight me. No wait, she wants to fight everybody. Knows my full address, dreams of being the sheriff. So if I can get her some writing supplies, maybe from here, the general store? No, there's nothing here just yet. In that case, I might just continue questioning everybody. So we have two people down here. And one person. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, I thought I could jump. Can I? Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? I don't think so. I don't have a jump. Wait, can I put my scooter on? Yes. <laughs> well, it kind of worked. Can I go in here on my scooter? No! I don't know the point anyway of jumping onto that roof. It probably, probably wouldn't do anything. But as I'm up here, let's talk to this fellow. Hello. Dusty, that's such a cute name. Oh, I sit and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. <laughs> the light of the sun holds more answers than we think. It's so cute. Answers to what? Questions. <laughs> what questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge this solar-powered bubble head? <laughs> And more, I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats, and no time considering why we had them in the first place. He seems extremely philosophical. I would assume for sun protection. Protection? From the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? The sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. <laughs> Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Well, I'm the frog detective. And I am just a lonely poet trying to make sense of the world. Oh, I thought he was part of the bandit group with Rhonda the mouse. It's nice to meet you. And you. You sure think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, you don't look too much like a cowboy. 
Oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm Dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever. I'm no good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to even show anyone. You can show me. I won't judge. Hmm, okay. Ahem. Oh no, it's going to be bad, isn't it? Here we go. A cowboy's life is so much fun. Sitting round on your bum. Ride a scooter, sing a tune, say a yeehaw in the afternoon. The sun is bright, their smiles shine brighter when waving at this lonely writer. I give a nod and smile back too, yet I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me, I want to ride and be carefree. Instead I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town. Aww, it's beautiful Dusty. That's my poem. It's beautiful. I would say that's the perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I think I want to write a new one. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? <laughs> okay, so we're just skipping past his poem and into the questions. Go ahead. All right, so about your poem. Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far and maybe you can help me finish it. Sure. Ahem. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal. Oh. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal near the tracks. Near the tracks. That sounds good. Nice. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more or towards the store. Yes, towards the store. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off towards the store. But just ahead to his shock stood a newly built office block. There was Nessie from the lock. He saw a goblin on a rock. Goblin. He saw a goblin on a rock. Um, okay, sure. But just ahead to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover... Ah, a tumbleweed in its place. Nothing there, just empty space. The thing had gone without a trace. Yes. Ooh, plot twist. Okay. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. That sentence is too long. The cowboy smiled and shook his head and off he went back to bed. <laughs> back to bed. The cowboy smiled and shook his head and off he went back to bed. Aha! It's perfect. The perfect poem. I can't wait to recite it in front of a crowd. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I feel like I understand the cowboy life a bit better now. Maybe one day I'll feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Cool. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do. But every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools. So I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. Makes sense. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyway, take them. Great. So the writing set goes to Rhonda. Cool. That's great. Dusty. Motive. Wanted to absorb cowboy powers through cowboy hat osmosis? Needs just someone to talk to, I think. Poet, icon, legend, friend, longs to live a cowboy life. Not great at budgeting. <laughs> Definitely not. 
Okay, so we have writing supplies for Rhonda, which is going to get us the fake ID. Very, very cool. We have someone here that's going to paint uh, Wendy's photo. Someone there looking very beautiful in a lovely green dress. And some photos where we hopefully can find a ghost. Nice job, buddy. All right, let's have a chat to you. Bonnie. Afternoon, detective. What can I get for you? Oh, nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Oh, hear about the hats? I must look like a heck of a suspect. Oh, wait, because she has a little hat. Why is that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. That's not true. What, what is that then? Maybe just decoration? I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy and cooked them up in my stew. <laughs> Did you steal the hats and cook them up in your stew? You bet. Oh, everyone come get your hat stew. I think she's a joker. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, detective. I'm a jokester. They call me bantering Bonnie around here. That's a nice nickname. I'm literally joking. <laughs> they just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh, <laughs> now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah, I get it now. Um, anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? My head is a weird shape. Gotcha. She can relate to our frog. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm literally joking. My head is completely normal. Oh, huh, huh. mine too. I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing, lol. Okay, lol. Hey, detective. Yeah? <laughs> I know a lot about Cowboy County. I know it all. Why are we yelling? It's a joke. Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but it was just a joke. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, my job here isn't just to run the saloon. I'm also a keen historian for Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I take the role very seriously. For example, did you know that the graveyard up on the hill is gravely haunted? Ha, huh, gravely. Sorry? It's gravely haunted. Graveyard? Yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories and photographs from the haunted hill. You can check them out if you want. I sure will, thanks. Lol, I just got the gravely thing. Ha ha. Ha ha. Gonna ask you some questions about this case. Oh, Bonnie, she's a little bit slow. Um, the hat stew. It was just a joke, right? You didn't actually make hat stew, did you? Of course not. Gross. I am making stew, though. It's the only way I can think of to get the regular customers back. Where did they go? Oh, they're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. Oh, do you have bandits in the saloon? Lol, I wish. It's worse. Artists. <laughs> Artists? Creative types. That doesn't sound scary at all. No, but no, you're right. It just changes the vibe. They hang around all day, creating things and finding themselves. I miss the rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin' times we used to have. You're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. Sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right. Get them to stop taking themselves so seriously. So your solution is stew. Hat stew. <laughs> I'm joking. Sorry, I'm still learning about jokes. It's just a normal stew, but I'm famous for it around here. Lure them here with the stew, keep them here with the party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan. 
I don't have enough ingredients though. Oh, say, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Sure. Got some money. Okay, so we must get carrots from the general store. Oh, and around these parts, there's really delicious edible cactus flowers. Could you collect four for me? Oh, uh, I guess so. I'll give you as much stew as you want in return. <gasps> Didn't someone want a meal? Someone, oh, the lobster cup. Sounds like a good deal. Nice. Okay, let's check out these ghost photos for the guy in the post office. Do you know much about the photos here in the saloon? Huh, legend has it they're haunted. I don't know if I believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them and I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. All right, well, let's um, take a look at the photos then. How do we do that? Carrots money? <laughs> Bonnie. Motive, hats do. A practical joke, perhaps. Needs carrots and cactus flowers for her stew. She's joking. Allegedly doesn't wear hats, but appears to be wearing a hat of some sort. Keen cowboy county historian hates creativity. Um, oh, here we go. This is at the graveyard. This one is standing in front of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Or maybe she's mourning. Did you ever think of that? Then why is she smiling? Exactly. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all these gravestones to residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. The smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. What about this one? Is this a ghost? Who? Mark? <laughs> nah, I wish Mark was a ghost. What? That didn't come out right. That's my ex-husband. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Why did you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. I think that photo is over 50 years old. Take my word for it though. That's not a haunted photo. It has nice energy. Okay. Are any of these going to be haunted? I mean, it's a mine that could be haunted. This one is super spooky. Surely it has to be a ghost photo. That's all snappy fresh. He was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. Wow, it's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh, old snappy fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. He's 130 years old. How do you know? I asked. Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. Okay, thanks. Right. So that's not a ghost photo. We've only got two left. The little dog and that one up there. Oh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. This is the most haunted photo of all. Oh, why? Legend has it, this rabbit was a real mean guy. He would put banana peels out for people to trip on, give people wedgies, you name it. Wow, that's horrible. Yeah. W wait, sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah, this guy was the sheriff about 80 years ago. A great sheriff, loved by all. So, not haunted? No, sorry. All good. Okay, so I'm going to guess that none of these photos are haunted then. <laughs> Is this a ghost? <laughs> I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came and changed all the colours in Cowboy County. It was really weird and messy. Fun though. And they're still alive? I sure hope so. 
Thanks. Right. Oh. Wait. Oh. Do we have to decide which one is who is dead? It's not him. That's blank. Unless there's something behind it. <coughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> right. Thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. Wait, was this one here before? I don't remember. It has such a strange energy to it. Yeah, I suddenly feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, yet cold, like he's seen too much. A man who has lived a thousand lives. There is a kindness to him, but also a great mystery. Bonnie? Yes, detective? I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might well be right. <laughs> May I take it? Please do, I'd be glad to be rid of it. Got the haunted photo, excellent. Maybe that guy is still here and he's taken all the hats. Okay, so we're slowly getting all of the things that we need. This is almost our last person to talk to. And this is how we're going to get that portrait. Pistol, that's such a cute name. Well, if it isn't the frog of the hour, maybe the frog of one and a half hours if we're being generous. <laughs> 45 minutes if you're speedy. <laughs> well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, detective. Have we met? Not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. Oh, you must be Pistol. That's me, finest artist in all of Cowboy County and potentially the world. Yes, you mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I would love to illustrate them. I would love that too. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money. Yes, yes, sorry. It's no matter, detective. Simply keep saving up and you will be able to afford my work one day. I'll do that. <laughs> Two million money. Uh, are you working on something at the moment? Yes, my finest piece yet. It's an... Uh, well, you see, it's clearly a... Uh, it's a cactus wearing a hat. Who am I kidding, detective? I've lost my artistic touch. Oh, I'm sure it's just a bit of a creative blog. Creative block? No. I clicked on a banner on cyberspace and it took me to a strange website. What did the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who is buff. You were right to click it. When it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. It made a loud cackling noise and the screen just said, you just got a curse on you from this website. Ever since then, I have lost my artistic talents. That's terrible. When did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? I don't think so. That witch was really scary, and I'm normally very brave. Did the website have any specifics about the curse? No. Well, how do you know that curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one and today I haven't seen anything that inspires me. Hmm, can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. Oh, the muse, the muse. We have the photo. You mentioned needing a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. I think this is the end of my painting career. Don't give up now. What if I could help you find a muse? You want to help me? I would love to. 
let me think. Maybe you could draw me. I have no interest in drawing you. <laughs> That's understandable. <laughs> hmm. If you could find me a photograph of something compelling to draw, I would be very grateful. But I think it might be too much of a challenge. Nothing is too much of a challenge for me. What about putting on a hat? <gasps> what a burn. No comment. Your head is a weird shape. Oh, I know this. <laughs> I'll get to work finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, detective. I wish you the best of luck. Can we show him the photo? Oh, well, it's got to be the bear pic. I found a photograph for you to paint. Oh, can I see? Here you go. Please. Wow. This is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. Uh, I mean, I guess. It seems like it was probably a prank. Oh, I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. I'm really brave. Doesn't seem like something I'd say. Right, I must be mistaken. It's okay, we all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. So, will this work as your new muse? Absolutely, stay right there. I'm gonna paint it immediately. Yay, so we get our portrait of Wendy to give to her. Oh, it's so lovely. And voila. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you, I'm so proud of it. What are you going to do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm up for me. You can keep this portrait if you like. Really? Yeah, I'll throw it out, I don't mind. I'm just happy I got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along. No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> nice, so we have the portrait for Wendy. And I think that is going to give us a ladder to get down the well. So, pistol, beautiful name. Motive. Maybe hats are hard to paint. Needs a muse and some internet safety lessons. Two million money is a small price to pay for art. Cursed, allegedly. That is awesome. So now we have the portrait. Um, I'm actually going to give that to her straight away hello give the portrait so you're not gonna believe this what is it i managed to get you a portrait wait seriously yep pistol the painter saw your photo and he thought you were the perfect muse he said that about me sure did can i see the painting sure I'll hang it up for you. Oh, oh, that's so lovely. Wow, it's great. Pistol is so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. Uh, I'm sorry, what? It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. The painting isn't cursed, is it? I don't think so. Well, good. Thanks so much for getting this portrait for me, detective. It was no problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think, a ladder. Oh, I know, take this ladder. <laughs> oh, a whole ladder? That seems quite big. You'll barely notice you're holding it, I promise. If you say so, thanks. <laughs> Yay, so that's gonna get us down the well. And I'm guessing that when we go down the well, we're going to find a key. Portrait painted. Okay, so if we go back to the front, we need a crime scene map, which is in the vault, criminal tool, a key, and the meal is going to be the stew. I think either the key or the criminal tool is going to be down the well. Um, oh, the writing supplies for the mouse in order to get the fake ID. 
writing supplies there we go I have some writing supplies right here oh how did you get those so quickly I helped to compose a beautiful poem uh, sounds boring <laughs> but thanks for getting these writing supplies for me I appreciate it if there's anything I can do for you let me know I have a bunch of skills I wish I had a bunch of skills <laughs> We can't all be Rhonda Dynamite. Okay, let's get this fake ID for Susie. You mentioned you can forge identification, right? I sure can. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure, anything for my friend, the detective. Amazing. I need to get a fake ID made for Susie. Can you help? Can do. Did you want to know what it's for? Nope. I'm not interested in other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. Nice. Really? It's that easy to... Awesome. <laughs> all right, all done. Anything else I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thanks so much. No worries, partner. And we got her fake ID so we can get into the vault and get that map. Thank you very much. Forged ID. Oh, the carrots money. I totally forgot about that. So we're finished now with Rhonda Dynamite. Actually, I need to go back and buy some carrots from the general store. Oh, carrots. Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? I sure do. Plenty of it. Okay, no need to brag. Take as many as you need. Thanks. Got some carrots. Excellent. I won't go and give that to the stew lady yet because we need to get some cactus flowers. So we'll just wait on that. But I do have the ghost photo here for... Oh, I forget his name. What's his name? Craig. <laughs> I'm actually impressed with myself. <laughs> so I took a look at all the photos in the saloon and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Oh, really? How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one, this one is something else. I can just tell. The energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. <laughs> I suppose that's true. Is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghost Spotters League to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? I'm trying to think what he would give me that I need. What do you have? A pickaxe. I'll need that for the mine. Great. Uh, why? <laughs> Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can't I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not. But usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? <laughs> yeah, pretty often. Okay. Well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing. Sorry. That's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for, <laughs> for the rest of my days. <laughs> that seems really intense. It's just a pickaxe. <laughs> for you, maybe whatever thanks for the pickaxe <laughs> nice so we are finished now with craig thank you very much for your beautiful pickaxe and we've helped him out excellent so now we have pickaxe we have the fake id we are very slowly ticking everything off let's give the id to susie Okay, so before I give you this, just know that this makes me very uncomfortable, but I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress Lobster Cop. So, here's your fake ID. 
Yes! <laughs> this rules. It looks so realistic. I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Right. I thought we'd be going in there with her. It worked. Thanks, detective. I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. You don't need to tell anyone. Hear ye, hear ye. The detective helped me break into a bank. No, no. They should call you the burglar. I do not want to be called that. Fine, fine. Here, I got the map out for you. So now we have the crime map. We just need a key, a meal, and the tool. And I got my real ID out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Thanks for the map. I think it'll be a really big help. Alrighty, let's check out this map. Crime map. That's something that we can use at the graveyard. Nice. So we're finished with Susie. Um, I do need know that we need to get some of these flowers. That's one prickly cactus. Good thing I have these gloves to protect my soft little fingers. Oh, they're so cute. So that's one cactus flower. I'm just going to spend some time walking around trying to find these flowers. But we now have four flowers and while I'm here I may as well use my ladder down the well. Hey this ladder is perfect for climbing down this well. Lucky me. My guess is that there's a key down here or that crime. <gasps> the key. That's it. Nice. People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. So that's going to be our key to get into the graveyard because I've noticed that that's got a lock on it. Oh, our little inventory section is getting very full actually. Let's go back up. Not only is this ladder perfect for climbing down, I can also use it for climbing up. Lucky me. <laughs> yes, well, ladders do work both ways. Oh, so cute. I can give, is this, that's not Wendy. Who's that? What's her name? It's not Susie Rabbit, it's not Wendy. It starts with a B. It starts with a B. I don't know yet, but we can give her the carrots. Hey, I managed to procure some carrots for your stew. Bonnie, Bonnie, you're the best detective. How did you even manage that? I simply went next door and brought some. That's so cool. I'll add them to the stew now. Right. I mean, that's so weird. But the cactus flowers, they were harder to get, more so than the carrots. I've just been flower picking. Great. Here's what I've collected so far. I'll add them to the stew. I really wish you'd told me that the cactus flowers are so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. Ha, <laughs> did you? That's so funny. It's not funny at all. It's hilarious. It is not hilarious. That would have hurt. <laughs> yeah, it would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Ew, like secondhand gloves? First and second hand, yep. <laughs> well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> What's wrong? Feels a little condescending. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did. I suppose. Just give me a sec. I'll finish up the stew and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I could give this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's who we're going to give that to. 
crunchy lobster cup. So now we are finished with the stew and Bonnie. Are we actually finished with everybody? Oh, look at that. Oh, lobster cup. Okay, we've got everything for him now. Nice. I do have that guy up there. I'm thinking that maybe we should go and see this guy first because I feel that lobster cop, I should be seeing him last. Oh, wait, wait. I thought there was a mine up here. There's not, but he's obviously digging for something. So maybe he can use the pickaxe. And who might you be? Sherman? Wow, look at you. Huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am. Not. <laughs> maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Oh, is there a problem? <laughs> I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. <laughs> you have the authority to steal my heart. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> what? Because of your good looks? Huh? It's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. It was like, oh, you could steal my heart because you're so dashing. <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts? You've stolen them. Oh, this guy is such a flirt. <laughs> Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right? Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in a mirror. <laughs> I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh, huh, huh. hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Rhonda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly, she didn't get the courage in time because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong. He's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but... I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. Have you spoken to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him time to settle in. I don't trust him. Don't trust that mole. But I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but uh, I have a few concerns. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? All right, Sheriff Mason Mole. <laughs> Why are you so suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. <laughs> well, not yet. Sherman winks. <laughs> anyway, I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm, I'm not sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgment, but this new guy is so quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? Yes, he helped people. I have no idea. Do you know? Nope. Figures. Let's talk about the mine. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I want to ask, is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? 
My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Oh, I remember him. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang, have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better. Yeah. Do you have one? I can trade you for uh, a shovel. I'll think about it. <laughs> well, yes, we do have one. And now I'm pretty sure that we use that shovel to follow the crime map and dig somewhere up in the graveyard. So here is the pickaxe for Sherman. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade for the shovel. Oh, I'd love that. Thanks. I could also trade for a nice dinner. Just you and I. <laughs> I'll take the shovel for now. Offers open. Maybe after I've solved the case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, are we really going to go on a date? Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know there was dating in the frog detective. So now we have a shovel and we've met Sherman the Sherman the Sloth. Motive. I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. <laughs> eyes. Sherman, you make me blush. So funny. So cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. I hope he didn't do it. This is awesome. We're going to go on a little date with him later, I reckon. Well, there you go, buddy. You can now dig into the mine. Have fun with your new pickaxe. And we're here for the very last thing we have to do, which is a lobster cop and the graveyard. So, are you finished? <laughs> huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? Yes, <laughs> I think so. Oh, great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. That looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we'll have to wait and see. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. Wait, do we have that? What's the tool? Oh, a shovel. Hmm, I think you could be right, detective. A key that will lead us to a clue. That sure looks like a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? A meal for the number one best detective. Oh, thank you very much. As the number one best detective, this stew is clearly for me. Huh, would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, lobster cop. You go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. I just have some quick business to attend to. I can do that. I'll take that meal now, though. It's all yours. Enjoy. Lobster cop better not be sus. What's the tool? Oh, I bet it's the shovel. It's the shovel. Right. Criminal tool was the shovel. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can go inside here. We have a key. Well, here goes nothing. Yes. So someone, I think, deliberately put that key in the well so nobody would find it. Those lumps look suspiciously hat-like. Are there hats buried here? According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. You know, I thought they would be in the sheriff's office behind the curtain. An odd crime if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. It doesn't make any sense. Oh well, I'll just dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more information. to be that mole. Whoa, so that, they are the hats. Well, who buried them there? I'm sure everyone will be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. 
It sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. It's not resolved yet. Who buried them? At least we found the hats, I guess. We found the four hats, but who buried that there? Oh, <gasps> look, everyone's looking at the, the sheriff and lobster cop. Here comes the detective now, just in time for the town meeting to begin. The first order of business is poem. Please read a poem. <laughs> oh, Dusty. He gets to read his wonderful poem. Hello, I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem and I am nervous. Please do not laugh. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off towards the store. But just ahead to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. <laughs> this is where it becomes a bit unhinged. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. The cowboy smiled and shook his head and off he went back to bed. Beautiful work, Dusty. Amazing. Great job. Oh, that was so happy. <laughs> Everyone, except the mole. Hmm. Suspicious. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. <gasps> I am pleased to announce I have recovered. I'll stop you right there, detective. What? I am pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. You know, I'm not happy that Lobster Cop has just suddenly taken over my hard work. I scoured every inch of this town to find those hats, and he's taken over to get all the credit. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of Sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after, the detective arrived. That's me. Quiet, please, detective. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder if Lobster Cop is going to throw me under the bus here. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats go missing. What? Wait. It is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, the hat stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second best investigator, Frog Detective. <gasps> no, why is he doing this? He's in cahoots with the mole. Wait, what? I have been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties the detective to the crime. What evidence? This. What? Isn't that just me digging up the hats afterwards and he's drawn on some angry eyebrows? No, this is a mistake. I was digging up the hats because I'd found their location. Then why do you look so mischievous? He's drawn on some eyebrows. I don't. Someone has drawn eyebrows on me. I don't even have eyebrows. You have to admit, detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What? You've come into a town that prides itself on hats. It's a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. <laughs> Weird head shape. 
Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Mall. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, Detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Hmm, that's a good point. We haven't even seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? That's less of an idea, more of an ominous concept. I will elaborate. We put Frog Detective in the bad room for punishment of crime. No. It's a jail. What? What is happening? An excellent, if shocking, idea, Sheriff Mason Mall. We will construct the bad room at once. I already made it. It's in my office. Oh, well, in that case, so that's what's behind the curtain. Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. Are you kidding? This is not fair. Oh, I can't believe this. What? Oh no. There's got to be a way out of this. No way. Just wanna go home to huh? slippery pond where the air is Hello? Fresh Hello? No, 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 this is not ending like this. Lobster Cop as number one best detective. Frog Detective as the burglar? Mason Mole as the sheriff. Corruption, definitely corruption. Special thanks to Lobster Cop and Mason Mole. Special apologies. Frog Detective fans, optimists, Cowboy County residents, Sherman, Carly Minogue, I feel like should be upset, friends and family, we don't have anyone else to credit and there is still time left on the song. The following credits are from Degrassi, The Next Generation, Season 6, Episode 11. Oh, what is this? <laughs> no, it, it cannot end like this. Please, stop. Please, please. What? Has it... Have we stayed in here for a whole year? There's a computer. Maybe I can get some help. This is not fair. Poor frog detective. Why would Lobster Cop do this? It's Mason Mole. He's terrible. Oh, what's this? Frogdetective.net blog. Oh, we're writing a blog entry. Here we go. To my loyal frog blog readers, it's our number one of my time in the bad room. I know that I am innocent. Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. Wow, I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes, but if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I am involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. But he did though. 
I am grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. Though I must say, I'm not sure if I'll have much to write about here. <laughs> Thank you for reading. Frog Detective, come on, how do we get out of this situation? This is not okay. Someone's there reading. Is it? It's the mystery monkey. This is terrible. I can't believe this. And Mo the mouse, what's going on? I'm reading the latest frog blog post. I was so excited to see how the detective solved the mystery in Cowboy County, but I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Crime is real? Well, let's not jump to any conclusions here. Of course, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um, we get back to our science work? I can't possibly concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. How are you going to do that? <laughs> I'll have to solve the mystery myself. Mystery monkey, here to help. Oh, please. What? <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, he's putting on his detective hat. He's got his magnifying glass and a cool detective outfit. Looking good. <laughs> nice. There we go. What does Mo think about that? Look after the lab, Mo. I'm not coming back until I've proven the detective's innocence. Wow, Mystery Monkey is so cool. I knew that they would be very impressed. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad we have friends a little bit later. Oh, he's here to help. Please help me. Oh, the supervisor. Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course. How could I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise. I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Oh, is it Lobster Cop? <laughs> no. Investigator Eel? <laughs> no. Inspector Iguana? <laughs> the Incredible Sandy Moth P.I.? <laughs> No, none of those. Oh, he doesn't even think about us. Ah, uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course, our second best detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my top two investigators to help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up, and I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as steal the town's hats. Well, there is a clear motive there. I know, I know, but it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh no! What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole. That name sounds familiar. Oh? I've seen him around before. Just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noises. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. When I saw his photo on the frog blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Why was his photo on the frog blog? Great detective skills, mystery monkey. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around in frog detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest. Yeah, it was Mason Mole that actually took our notebook as well. 
there has to be something here. Let's find out. That's the supervisor, lobster cop, and the best detective of all, frog detective. This is lobster cop's office. I shouldn't snoop in lobster cop's office unless I really have to. Okay, I guess maybe we'll check that out next time. Maybe lobster cop is bad. He might be bad. What am I looking for here? What's that? Clue detecting powder. How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. Awesome. Um, oh, detect clues. Left click. Oh, that's that's Mason taking the the diary. Oh, and now he's walking out. No. He's heading towards Lobster Cop's office. I think they were working together. It couldn't be. Where has he walked to? He's done something here too. The drawer. What could Lobster Cop be hiding? He was starting a case file on us a copy of the detective's notebook oh, yep they're friends they're friends lobster cop and mason mole a note it reads from mason mole hello lobster cop it is me your bestie forever mason mole i have done what you asked it was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. Are you kidding? I saw him every time. I fear that your suspicions are correct and that Frog Detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So I've taken the detective's notebook inside are some great insights to how the detective works through a case maybe you can read and learn but it may not be enough as the detective gets better and better your position as number one is threatened i think it's time to enact the plan you came up with it's devious and mean and not very nice but if you want to be the best you have to get rid of the best wow i never suspected that this can't be true. Lobster cop, the number one best detective, a fraud? I need to get the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. There has been a terrible misjustice. I am so surprised. I'm so surprised. Lobster cop. Oh, I cannot believe this, but we have our friends mystery monkey and the supervisor is here to finally put things right all right we're here no entry okay oh mystery monkey says howdy folks what brings you to cowboy county so late this is our turf, so you better have a good reason. We don't want any trouble. We hear about our good friend, the Frog Detective. Ah, the duality of Frog. How can one be so kind, poetic and thoughtful, and also be a stealer of all of our hats? A frog so pretty, so alluring, and yet... I really trusted Frog Detective, that snake. Oh, I can't go on a date with a criminal. It's just not me. Aren't you a bandit? Outlaw. So you live outside the law? Well, when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. It doesn't matter anyway. Frog Detective is innocent. <laughs> sure, we all saw the photo. Those furrowed brows tell the whole story. Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. <laughs> oh, 
so those were stolen too. <laughs> no, you're mistaken. Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's Frog Blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing? Regardless, you say it was a mistake? Not so much a mistake, a setup. I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown of our beloved frog detective. What? That's so messed up. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? <laughs> Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How can we help? If you could point us in the direction of where frog detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Mole has the detective locked up in bad room at the back of his sheriff's office. If you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thank you for your help, bandits. We're outlaws. My bad. Well, hopefully we can be quiet enough. I don't think we do anything else, do we? We need to go around the back. Where is everyone? Oh, okay. I cannot get in around the back. Oh, it, oh no, oh gosh, he's asleep, he's asleep, what should I do, we need to be so quiet, so quiet, mystery monkey, supervisor, what are you doing here, I didn't know I was allowed visitors in bad room, or that anyone would want to visit me, we're here to bust you out, what, mystery monkey has proof you were framed, I knew it, Mason Mole was up to something. It's not just him, Detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. It can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? It's hard to know for sure until we ask, but it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. Envious? Of who? You, detective. It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Mole once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. All right, <laughs> town meeting? Soon we're going to prove our innocence. Oh, poor frog detective. How long has he spent in there? Was it one day? <laughs> Here we go. What's the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. I have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat stealing case, but it's closed. I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, Town, for meeting us here on short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <laughs> huh. What? I... This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office, that's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. Sheriff Mason Mole has been tailing the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. As the lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. <laughs> 
In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos who runs the shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. What? I never... Oh, but you did. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. <laughs> no, I... No, that's not... I... No. Oh. We got him, we got him. Yep. You should feel sad, you should feel bad. This is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. Yes. Frog Detective, ever since you moved in next door to my office, I felt threatened. You are so methodical in your case solving. I would read your blogs and go green with envy. I've been number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and passed it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry? But Lobster Cop, your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to, but I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mole was there for me. Having friends is so important, but we were a bad influence on each other. I needed work and so I suggested to Lobster Cop that I help take you down. I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see? I'm ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you frame the detective? It was a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map, Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once you had the resources to dig up the hats and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? You know, I didn't, I don't think I saw Mason Mole waiting at the church, but maybe I also wasn't expecting him to be. I was eating a delicious meal. Oh, that was his alibi. Of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you, but what I don't understand is why you had to put me in the bad room. Framing me was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting someone into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around, trapped? I really hate that room. <laughs> Bad room was my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realise this now. My bad. Lobster Cop, Mason Mole, you have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. <laughs> Our society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to bad room? Absolutely not, that's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, you have abused your power in ways that I cannot begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm mad at you both. We deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. A cop no longer. Okay. I will hand in my badge and gun. Gun? Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Mate. <laughs> I gave Lobster Cop the gun. Okay, well, yes, please hand that in. I have an idea of what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Oh, why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? A lobster postie has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. 
Well then it's settled. Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole, do you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude, evil and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great postie and right some of the wrongs I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behaviour that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a postie and please rest assured you will never have a late parcel again. Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. He's just such a simple little frog, isn't he? Such a simple creature. Say, now that that's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the new number one best detective. If it's Mystery Monkey... Congratulations to Mr. Monkey. <laughs> no way. Come on. Wow, congratulations, Mr. Monkey. What an achievement. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time. You can move into my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great. What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective. Again. This calls for a celebration. Bonnie, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Can do. Oh, and Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mall? Yeah. You're invited too. Oh, jeez, he's just so incredibly dense. I love him though. Maybe he's just very forgiving. Oh my gosh. After all that Lobster Cop and Mason Mole did. Framing poor frog detective. Putting him in the jail in the bad room. Yet the frog detective is just like, nah. That's cool. I forgive you. It's okay. Let's all just go and have a party. Frog Detective was invented by Grace Bruxner. I made you and I can destroy you. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was, that was great. What an awesome conclusion. But I feel so betrayed by Lobster Cop and Mason Mole. I've been looking at that mole for so long in the first two games thinking, oh, this is interesting. What a mystery. But he ended up being terrible. He was so bad. Are we going back home to our office? Two weeks later. Oh, here we go. Do you have a new photo? Yes, of course. I like that they've put Lobster Cop in the back. Oh, Mason Mole's there. I'm glad that he doesn't have like a really nice picture. He doesn't deserve it. Ring, ring. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Oh, hey, Frog Detective. Yes, Mystery Monkey. Happy birthday. Thanks so much. I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. But you're number one best detective. I know, but this one is a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. Oh no, okay, look, I'm guessing that it's not a, a case at all. It's like a little party. Maybe it's a party for us. Wait. Before I talk to you. Oh, I can go in the drawer. Look, he's just put his... He's just put his face. Oh, it's so cute. He's just put his face on all of the lobster cop pictures. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, detective. 
Well, 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 if it isn't Mystery Monkey 49. Good to see you, Frog Detective 03. What? <laughs> just a joke. Are there two other frog detectives? I don't know. I was just joking. You've got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog Detective 1, Frog Detective 2, and now Frog Detective 3? How do you think I feel with 48 other mystery monkeys? Hmm, that's a good point. <laughs> anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Will do. This is not a case. It's, it's, it's Frog Detective's birthday. It's a surprise birthday party. Everyone's going to be here, all of our friends. I knew it. Oh, wow. Look at everyone here. Surprise. Aww. Wow, what's everyone doing here? Well, detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah, our town has never been so peaceful, all thanks to you. Same with my island. I haven't heard a ghost in ages. I mean, technically, you never heard a ghost. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you. It worked. That's not all, detective. We got you a present. It should be coming any minute now. I ordered it on Whizbay. Maybe it's going to get delivered by the two new postmen. Here we go, lobster posty. Special birthday delivery. <laughs> Is that for me? Open it up. It's a little hat. <laughs> Happy birthday. Wait, what is this? That's easy, detective. It's a hat. I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Why don't you just try it on? <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, would you look at that? <laughs> it's a hat that fits. It does look quite weird though. Right in the middle of his eyes. Oh, that was so wonderful. Thank you for playing Frog Detective. We have loved making these games for you and we are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. I loved it. I'm so happy he finally has a hat that fits. Even though, I mean, to be fair, it looks pretty silly. There's Mo the Mouse. Mystery Monkey, our latest toast science discovery jam. Love Mo and Mystery Monkey. Collaborating our latest potion, Lola and Mandy. We're celebrating Craig's acceptance to the Ghost Spotters League. See you soon. Love from Bonnie, Craig and Susie. Finally got a sponsorship deal with Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth. Exo Fresh. <laughs> Family reunion. So much wool was shed. Gross. From Noodle and Barney. Thanks for our date. I had so much fun. Sherman, we actually went on a date. <laughs> I'm so happy. So handy having a muse right next to the saloon. Regards, Pistol. I can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's very cool and secret. Eat after reading from Bernie. I'm the sheriff now. I didn't even have to beat anyone up from Rhonda Dynamite. I'm so glad. Finally convinced Carlos to take a holiday. Best, Ralph. Oh, they've gone to the beach, maybe Mystery Island. We are not the same guy, Larry and Lobster Posty. <laughs> My first day of cowboy school from Dusty. Employee of the month at the post office. Thanks, Mason Mall. Finally, he's smiling though. I'm glad. Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and went super fast. Warm regards, Koala. There are so many shells down here. Well wishes from the deep blue sea orbit. We performed together at the latest dance contest. 
we came third from Finley and Martin. Too busy signing autographs right now. Talk later, Mary. So she made her way. She's doing well. Oh, I broke my leg. Sent from my phone, Noddy. <laughs> so funny. I literally have not left the hot tub since you were here. From Victor. <laughs> Finally met my hero, Lobster Co- uh, I mean Lobster Posty. Much love, Susan. Everyone's doing really well, except for Noddy with his broken leg in the hospital. <laughs> oh, that was so good. That's just left me with such a happy feeling. The end. Oh, I don't think there's any more. I'm going to miss it. And that's it. That's our last case. I had so much fun playing. All right, guys, I think we are done with Frog Detective. We've played the three cases, case one, two, and three. This one was, of course, the longest, but I thought it was incredible. And I would never, ever have expected the lobster cop would betray us like that. And it's really surprising how even after the betrayal, the frog detective is just like, yeah, it's okay, I forgive you. And Mystery Monkey's like, crime's not real. I just feel that everyone is just so simple. It's really cute in a really crazy way. I loved the frog detective cases. All of them were so good. The characters are so memorable and it's wonderful to see everyone come back for the birthday party in this last case. I thought there was such a great amount of humor. It's wholesome, it's fun. It just feels good to play. I had such a wonderful time. I really, really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed these three adventures as well. And I'm just hoping that there's more. I'll have to do a little bit of research as I really want to play more Frog Detective. I had a blast. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.